I've got my goggles, I've got my gloves on. I'm going to build a second generation Chevy Volt electric drive unit all by myself. <laughs> and a few people are going to help me. I started out by carefully dropping one of the Volt's new electric motors into its housing. Oh, there it goes. Then another. The next step was to move the whole thing across the room where I bolted the housing together. This took me about a half an hour. Even with all this help, on the assembly line, they'll crank out 10 of these in the time it took me to build one. I'm trying to be fancy and do it one-handed. But when you're updating a hybrid, one thing that really matters is the battery. This is the battery pack for the new second generation Chevy Volt. It uses 20% fewer of these individual battery cells to deliver more energy than today's model. All the development for this battery pack took place right here in GM's battery lab in Warren, Michigan. This 85,000 square foot facility is the largest automotive battery lab anywhere in the world. And they test everything here. The researchers want to make sure your vault works on every continent, so they're testing wall sockets from all around the world. They also need to make sure the cord doesn't wear, so they test it for endurance by twisting it again and again. Inside these huge boxes, batteries are run down and recharged to mimic driving hundreds of thousands of miles in a single test. As far as the guts of this car are concerned, I feel pretty well acquainted, but there are still big questions. For one, we don't have exact numbers in all this improved performance. Also, we still don't know what the new vault will look like. For that, we'll have to wait until January 